next method is eccentricity method but before that i need a quick review okay we are not going to talk about stress and strain but we should know how to take the slope most probably in eccentricity method they have given eccentricity ratio so we are always taking that x by y so the values are wrong so you will not get ellipse so getting clear idea i am using this graph as you see is a stress strain graph here taking x small less we need the slope so taking slope what we are taking y by x y is in stress x in strain so y by x only we are taking as a slope so similarly in the next problem we will have some snc ratio that means it is y by x okay let me go to the next slide so that you will correlate these two and you will not get confused And this is a sum using eccentricity method draw an ellipse okay use directories to focus distances 30 mm not more than that and bottom side you see i told e means not e, x small less it's a eccentricity that is y by x it's in 3 by 4 because it is in sm ellipse so it should not more than 1 okay so we are using that so you have to take some values in such a way you should maintain this 3 by 4 if i multiplying with 15 i will take y okay it's 45 for x i will get 60 because x is 4 times 4 into 15 it will be 60 okay now keep this value now we can go to uh, slide and we will check the step by step procedure how to make an ellipse in eccentricity method first as usual we need one directories okay so we are creating one vertical line marking one center point as a o and d d sometimes if you want you can give the names d dash okay this one is d after that i need one horizontal line now we having one small hint from the problem that is directories to focus distance is 30 mm i told this is directories so from this we will take 30 mm distance you mark one point that is focus okay now we have another points y and x okay so any graph if you take the horizontal is x vertical is y okay so for, uh, here from 0 that not 0 it's a o okay from here to 60 we have to make one point that is x from that x we have to mark 45 mm down okay this clear right the next step we have to connect this o and y it's a lengthy line forget about the length you just make it as a lengthy it should pass through it start from o and it should pass through y okay second what we have to do we have one point focus right so from the focus put your protector take 45 degree left side as well as right side make lines like this okay so here we have one meeting point here also we have one meeting point just name it okay and we have made one vertical line and then this will be act as our space where we going to construct an ellipse now again this pass through the horizontal line so i putting one names v1 v2 that nothing but vertex 1 and vertex 2 and we have focus also the next step is divide this space into equal number equal number of parts okay here i have just made 5 if you want you can divide 6 7 more the number of lines more the accurate apps ellipse okay and now i have made 1 2 3 4 5 as you seen and i given the name 1 2 3 4 5 and if you see this one line also crossing over here second one also crossing here third fourth fifth so i should give the name okay so bottom side so i giving dash 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 3 dash next step i have to measure so one one dash distance okay then carefully listen carefully i have to put the canvas in the focus from the focus only i have to add the arrow it's arc not the arrow arc so i have to cut if i measure the distance one one dash i will put the compass over here and i will cut one arc here as well as here similarly i will take the measure the uh, distance from 2 to 2 dash then i will put the compass in the focus i will cut one arc at 2 here as well as here similarly i will measure the distance from the compass then i will put the compass over here i will cut one arc at 3 
as well as a3 dash line okay similarly if you are doing you will get some arc like this okay for initial condition just to measure the v1 t1 just put it in the focus it will cut similarly here also nothing to worry okay now connect this line you will get small right so uh, next slide we will see how to mark the tangent and normal for this ellipse since this slide is full of numbers and lines so you will get confusion so we will go to next line same problem okay same from i already made the ellipse now we should go and see how to draw the tangent and normal so initially you have to fix one point on the curve give the name p then you try to connect the p with the focus okay previously we have cut the arc from the focus so this line also should come from p to focus after that make 90 degree line with respect to this one like this give the name q then you connect q to p like this mm, then <coughs> pass one vertical line that is normal <coughs> and that's it this is a simple way <coughs> this is in simple way how to mark tangent and normal for an ellipse okay hope you are clear with this idea now we use the same idea to construct the parabola <coughs> so the problem is the same using same eccentricity method draw in parabola use directrix of focus distance that you know let us see the helping in here also we have to use y by x but here is parabola so the ratio should be made as a 1 so if you are taking y as 45 x also 45 now similarly we have to consider in a directrix then one horizontal line right then what we have to do we have to fix the distance and there to focal distance we have to fix right then um, i have to construct uh, what i have to do yeah then x and y i have to measure and i have to place 45 45 then i similarly so uh, take 45 degree from the focus make the line and here also o, from o also make one line you should pass through y right then i have to mark the vertex right then divide the part 1 2 3 4 4 it's a parabola it's not a closed one so that we are not taking another one vertex 2 right got it so similarly one uh, give the name for bottom side also then measure one one dash right 2 2 dash right 3 3 dash right 4 4 dash measure it cut the arc from the uh, focal and make the curve you have it repeat the same procedure for making tangent and normal 